Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video from Life Minis. I'm going to be showing you how you can increase your overall display quality on your Xbox Series X, Series X, Series S, or uh, Xbox One Gen Series, last gen series. Um, before we do that, guys, I uh, got a new logo, uh, pretty sick logo. I'm probably going to be putting it on some new merchandise. If you'd like to cop any current merchandise, it's always linked down in the description. You can over, head over to Teespring. It helps support the channel as well. Um, so without further ado, let's hop right into the tutorial. Uh, let me just switch over to my Xbox recording screen. This is very, very, very straightforward. And a big component of this tutorial is it all depends on what type of display you have. Um, and we can go into Xbox settings and try to increase those settings to the best of our ability. So you want to hit uh, overall settings and then you want to go to TV and display options. Then, so from here, I mean like most of the time when you plug in your TV or your monitor or whatever, Xbox will automatically detect what resolution it is. If it's 1080p or, uh, or 4K or 1440p or 720p or 480p, whatever it is, It'll detect it here, but sometimes it may not. So for here, make sure you have it on the highest one possible. I know that's self-explanatory and that's not the main focus of this video. Um, the main thing here is video modes. So you want the highest amount of Hertz or refresh rate possible selected here. For me, it's 50 because I have a 60 Hertz monitor. That's the best I'm gonna be pumping out. Um, also only next gen consoles, uh, support like the 120 Hertz refresh rates for games. Now, uh, since I have an Xbox one, I can't hit those. Even if I had a 144 Hertz monitor, which I actually have coming in the mail shortly, which I'm excited to unbox, um, probably do an unboxing on that. Uh, I got a big PC build, uh, coming soon, but it all depends what your monitor has in terms of specs, uh, what resolution it has, if it's HDR10 compatible, uh, if it supports high refresh rate, if it if it um, supports these allow 3D, whatever that means, um, low latency for input lag, all this kind of stuff, it all depends on your monitor or TV, what have you. Um, so for here, so, as you can see, I only have this one option available. Depending on your TV, you may have more options available and you didn't even know know it. So you can go in here and check as many as possible um, and it will overall uh, make your display look better. Now you can also go into your TV settings and adjust, and adjust picture quality or color, saturation, contrast, brightness, gamma, what have you, whatever you wanna do to make it seem the best. Um, obviously it depends on the resolution of your TV. You can't just automatically increase how sharp the image is and stuff like that. Uh, but many TV modes like mine, I have a high sense 32 inch smart TV has several picture modes, uh, movie standard, uh, natural, um, and then vivid, vivid, like really boost contrast and saturation. I think that's the best overall, uh, image. I think it's most pleasing to my eye and several other people's eyes. So you can go into your specific T setting, TV settings, not an Xbox, and try to improve the, uh, the quality as best as you can. Some normally, I mean, some suggestions I would have here, sometimes increasing the brightness, increasing the contrast, increasing the saturation. Those usually make the colors a little more vivid. If your TV has a vivid mode, maybe turn that on and it can actually improve your overall quality. Um, it's just more pleasing to the eye. People like, like boosted colors and stuff like that. That's why people like Samsung phones so much so go in here check as many boxes as you can go into your tv settings adjust it how you want calibrate it how you want and overall make the image as best as it can because you can make slight marginal adjustments that actually do um actually do show a difference um and how it appears if you guys enjoyed this video like subscribe hit the bell notification and i'll see you guys in the next video check out life Man easy merch down in the description if you guys are interested in picking it up and supporting the channel college Man easy podcast uploads every wednesday friday 3 p.m eastern standard time Check out that. Go subscribe. Currently have 107 subscribers over on that channel. We appreciate all the support. We really, really try to help you guys over on that podcast audio version available on like literally every single podcasting platform. And we have the YouTube channel. So go listen on the audio version, follow us there, or you can subscribe and actually see the video and actually see us talking. It's up to you guys. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.